This series of attacks on the power grid have caused power shortages. We need to replenish our power supplies with Vulgus battery packs. Break through the Vulgus repository security system, grab the battery packs, and get them to our supply box.
Great work, Descendant. We won't need to worry about power outages for the moment.
Enemy forces are attempting to disconnect the power grid linked to the outpost in the square. If the power is cut off, this will be a huge setback. This facility provides power to the outpost. We have to stop the enemy offensive. your top priority. They're revealing their strategy. Target the enemy units trying to breach our defensive line.
Emily. I've heard about your exploits. You're doing incredible work. Thanks to you, the King scenario will be much quieter. For now. I'll tell you why it's a temporary situation when you get here. I have good news and bad news. See you soon. Marcus, from the Heart Investigation Team, reporting on our status. Welcome back. Let me give you the bad news first. There's a place called Slumber Valley, where no one ever goes. According to our intel, the Vulgus have captured it and have stockpiled supplies there. We need to eliminate the Vulgus in Slumber Valley so we can secure all of Kingston. As you know, Kingston and Albion are only divided by a narrow strait. And the good news is, you have great timing. I only received the details of the bad news just as you arrived. <clears throat> Connect to the operation terminal. I'll remove the Vulgus barrier temporarily. My job is done here. Please, handle the rest. According to my data, the road you need to take is treacherous. If the Vulgus aren't fools, they'll use the surrounding terrain to launch an attack. Be careful.
Connection to the operation terminal confirmed. Commencing door hack for operational deployment. Please, take care. things are going, you won't be able to destroy the Ironheart. Ironheart is the only way to save everyone. Darkness does not 
This is Marcus. Can you hear me? That's not my doing. It's a sign that the main Vulgus force has arrived. Loading.
Well done, Descendant. That's exactly how the ancestors defended Ingress. You will naturally become quicker and more efficient as you keep going. Good work. Come on, we need to talk. Just get to the point. I let my feelings get the better of me last time. I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention it. The goal of the operation remains the same. Get to the battlefield and clear the Vulgus so that Jeremy can lead the investigative corps to the area. After you eliminate the Vulgus, Jeremy will search for the Ironheart. I'd like you to work closely with Jeremy as well. From now on, we'll be facing significant challenges. Now that Corel has the Ironheart, the Vulgus will be more aggressive. However, we've just completed development of a crucial battle device called Modules. Go and talk to Cillian. He'll fill you in. Dismissed. Is there a problem? Get back to work. What is it now? Hey there, what can I help you with? Look who it is. To think I'd witnessed the greatest descendant in all of Albion. Ahem. <clears throat> Allow me to formally introduce myself. My name is Cillian, and I am in charge of modules. If I may. Modules are devices that help descendants control Arke more effectively by boosting the capabilities of firearms and body equipment. They're essential equipment that provide an enhanced battle experience. They're the new future. There are various modules, from ones that elevate each descendant's unique RK to ones that are compatible with them. What do you think? Exciting, right? Let me tell you about the origin of these devices. Oh, uh, <clears throat> maybe I should leave it there. Let me just finish by saying that the work of the Magisters is bullion. Oh, <laughs> so... Would you like the honor of being the first in Albion to have me enhance their modules? Try to enhance any module up to two stars.
Outstanding. But that's not all. Listen carefully, because there's one more important thing to know. Even as the module's enhancement level increases, your total RK remains unchanged. We call that your capacity. The total of your enhanced modules cannot exceed your capacity. So if you want to equip a lot of high-performance modules, you need to manage your capacity. Just imagine if you couldn't use the enhanced modules that you spend a lot of money on because you ran out of capacity. That would be a real tragedy. We'll see each other a lot from now on, so that's all for the moment. May your battles always be satisfying. Goodbye. Can we speak for a moment? I had a quick look around. That one with the blue skin is a magister. They must be the one who believes they can use the Iron Heart to control the dimensional wall. I know you're confused. I understand. I'm just worried about you dedicating yourself to a dangerous goal. HQ might hold you responsible for any unfavorable results. It seems HQ is trying to close the dimensional wall with the Iron Heart. They must believe that that will make things safe. But they're incorrect. What do they think will happen when they try to block the flow of a massive amount of energy? The energy backflow will destroy all of Ingress. What happens if we close the dimensional wall after defeating all the Vulgus? When Ingress starts to block the flow of energy, it will become exposed to all beings within the void. Colossi will swarm in and attempt to destroy the dimensional wall. We must learn to accept that necessary evil is also a part of this world. Yes, people seek saviors when they are desperate. But there is no such thing in this world. Especially for me. I am merely a creation, made to guide you along the right path. The path of the ancestors is difficult, but not complex. You need only to hone your Arche and protect yourself. You have unlimited potential within you. And I know you wish to protect Ingress more than anyone. You are an extraordinary soldier. But there are things that are more valuable than orders. That's all I can say for now. I hope you make your choice before it's too late. Please, excuse me. The space-time fabric of the Void is extreme. How have you been? I thought we might go over the assignments that I had for you. Ever since Corral caused the anomaly involving the Iron Heart, the Colossi and the Void have become more active. The anomaly is called a Void Erosion. Studying and naming such phenomena is my responsibility. You can help by entering the intercept battle. Talk to me, or join when you are ready. Do not forget about the Colossi while you're dealing with the Vulgus. The moment you let your guard down, the city will be crawling with Colossi. As you know, the laws of physics are distorted in the Void. No being can survive there, except for the Colossi. However, you may be aware that, according to the formula I've written, you can defeat a Colossus by luring them into a temporary safe zone within the Void. By my calculations, a Grave Walker is approaching the entrance point. It found a way after Corella caused the Void Erosion. It'll be the very first Colossi from the swarming hordes to arrive in Ingress. 
Its six legs give it additional mobility. On top of this, its appearance is that of a crustacean wielding heavy firearms. I'm only surprised it doesn't smell like crack cakes. <laughs> If the Grave Walker should appear in any part of Ingress, to say that we'd be in grave danger would be a serious understatement. The existence of the Colossi itself is a complex enough equation. Going into the void and intercepting them is the best way to minimize variables. It's fine if you need more time to prepare. However, you may want to pick up the pace once you hear this. Paradoxically, the Void also provides us with a new opportunity. Within it lies a secret substance known as amorphous materials. To unlock the mystery, we need the right key. But even I don't fully understand what that is yet. It is mere conjecture. But, as the Volgas have also passed through the Void, perhaps they can provide us with some answers. I'll leave it with you, Descendant. Mm -hmm.